Give me the dagger! Why was I not really excited for this movie? Because video game adaptations just never really seem to work out so well. I do have to say that this is probably a vast improvement and a lot better than the average video game movie, but as a movie in itself, it's just not very good. It sports some pretty bad dialogue and the predictability level here is just enormous. There's so much cliché in this movie that I just decided to sit back, relax, and just stop caring, which is essential to enjoy this movie to the least bit. This movie is just completely ridiculous. The action is incredibly well edited, and there's some surprisingly good cinematography, and the visual effects are very, very well done, even though some things just look kind of fake. Almost all of the battle scenes are just completely over the top, but they're just so much fun to watch. I do have to admit, if the development was a little bit better and the movie didn't drag so much, I think the story was incredibly interesting. And I, although, I mean, I could completely predict most of the plot points, I actually did feel involved with the plot at times. I mean, sure, it's nothing we haven't seen before, but it's just some interesting summer fun. Performances in this movie, which I have to say, given the very weak material, are actually very good. Jake Gyllenhaal just does some things that he really doesn't need to, including the accent, which goes off and on at times, but overall, he's just a very likable character. Ben Kingsley is playing a character that he's kind of played before, but I mean, he just does it so masterfully that he just shows up anybody else on the screen with him. Incredible pleasure just to watch this guy, no matter what movie he's in, even if it's just horrible. Alfred Molina just offers some fantastic comic relief, and I mean, he just gets into his character. Gemma Arterton plays Tamina, and yes, she is overall very charming. In its end, it is just a crazy mix of Pirates of the Caribbean, Aladdin, Mummy, and slightly Indiana Jones, and never doing it as well as any of those movies. I have to say, while it does set it up for a sequel, I wouldn't care to see much more of this character or his adventures. Overall, this movie has some bad, and you know, it has some good. Releasing the sand turns back time. While it is mildly enjoyable at times, it drags out far longer than it needs to, and it just becomes annoying and tedious at times, and I just really stopped caring for many points of this movie. Visually stunning, but dramatically lacking. While it is better than most video game adaptation movies out there, the genre has yet to achieve greatness. I will give Prince of Persia The Sands of Time a 6 out of 10. If you are a fan of the video games, then I would recommend you check this out. But if you're not, I think you will be satisfied with any of the other summer releases. This movie had some potential, but never really reached it. Come on, this movie's just completely ridiculous. Ridiculous. This is Persia!